David G, and welcome to this week's Life Tools. I was watching an episode of Black Mirror the other night where uh, these soldiers had uh, embedded into their brains this thing that um, when they looked at uh, the enemy, um, the enemy was perceived as um, really unpleasant looking, almost like zombie looking creatures. And it turned out that they didn't know that, but they're hunting these zombie-like looking creatures um, and hunting them down and killing them. And the reality was um, they didn't look any different than us. And at, at one point it becomes apparent that there's a chip that was implanted into their heads to make them dehumanize or demonize these other beings so that they would be seen as a threat to them and it would be easier for them to hunt them down and kill them. And I think about that as we walk through our world and we separate ourselves from people with different um, belief systems, different religions, uh, different skin colors, different ways of speaking or looking or pick, pick the thousands of um, internal bias machines and filters that we actually process everything through. And it's only when we demonize something or dehumanize something that it becomes easier to hate it. It's not inherent in us. Hate is not a native energy that any of us have. Um, you know, there's always yum and yuck. There's always comfort or discomfort. There's always pleasurable or unpleasurable. There's clearly tasteful and distasteful, but we pile so many things on, certainly within this political context, within the world that we live in. It's so easy to do that. Uh, certainly religion and race um, are easy ways for us to do that. You know, we'll, we'll rationalize somebody by saying, oh yeah, but they also, you know, did this. And we sort of like build a case that's an incoherent and incomplete case, but it allows us to then formulate an opinion, an opinion of distrust, an opinion of fear, uh, an opinion of resistance. And these are the things that are preventing us from truly having a more peaceful world, having a more loving world. So we can be the change. We can, we can shift that. We can become aware that we are demonizing. People. There's 7.6 billion people on this planet. Guess what? We all have the exact same energy stardust flowing through us. There may be some people who disagree with you vehemently. They may even be related to you. You may even live with them. But when you demonize them, then it becomes easier to argue with them or dismiss them or put them down. But if we can look at everyone through the lens of Tatvam Asi. I am that. Whatever you are, I am. Whatever your bad behavior is, I'm capable of it as well. Whatever your um, political belief system is, um, I'm capable of it as well. Because there's such a complexity to what we believe in and our beliefs, our assumptions, and all the things that make us move in the direction of our deeper fulfillment. So this week, I have a suggestion. When we are looking at someone and we're feeling, uh, or we're judging, or we're pointing, or we're making our case for why we don't want to like them, or trust them, or be in their presence, or listen to them, remind yourself, tatvam asi, tat tvam asi, I am that. I'm simply a reflection of you. And if you're saying something that's upsetting me, it's probably my issue. It's your issue that you're saying it, but it's my issue that it's impacting me in a negative way. And if I can take all this demonization, this dehumanization, and see you on the exact same plane as me, not above or below, then I'm just looking into someone who perhaps is frustrated or sad or in pain or struggling. Pick any of those things that we are all doing. So let's try to get comfortable with the fact that whatever someone else seems to be experiencing, it's a human experience that we are also capable of experiencing. And rather than shutting them down or cutting them off 
or dismissing them. Just allow it. Even if you're saying, oh, what you're saying is so stupid. Well, even in that context, you know, you're, you're sort of saying a little bit, I think you're stupid. And, of course, who are you? Einstein. <laughs> so, <laughs> rather than us being in that judgment mode, let's be in that tatvam asi. Remember when we point at someone? There's always three fingers pointing back at us. So, let's point in the direction of love. Let's point in the direction of connection. Let's point in the direction of communing. And let's point in the direction of oneness until there's no place left to point. It's just a giant circle of hugs. So from the sweet spot of the universe, this is David G. Let's practice that this week. Tatvam asi. Defenselessness and less judgment coming out. Keep meditating, and I'll see you in the gap. Namaste.